Evening everybody, welcome back to the Stone Ranger. It's Friday night, not Wednesday night, and we're stone carving. The reason behind that, I took my daughter to the finals night on the ice hockey, and I'm pleased to announce they won. It was a great night, I actually really enjoyed it, and I was busy last night. So we're going to go for Friday night, stone carving live. Um, sharpen my chisels, they're all sharp. Got a hammer, I'm going to put my safety specs on in a minute. I've just misplaced them, so I'm looking around frantically trying to find them. Um, yeah, let's spin you around and we'll get straight into doing some carving. We're actually going to um, carry on with the Henderson Relish project. Really nice. Um, I mean, really enjoying this project. It's a um, lovely piece of stone. Lots of detail on their lettering, which is my favourite thing. All different sizes. Um, yeah, let's spin it around and let's go going. Let's give it a bit of tweak on that so you can see me better. I thought I had it all set up and then you think you've got everything and then you realise you haven't. We're moving down the size, moving down the size on the letters. Which is nice, means we're making progress. So when we get a couple of people in the comments, you'll have to make sure you let me know if you can see everything okay, and also what the audio's like. Can't believe it's been over a week since the last time I was on. Hello, Logan. Is that are you a new subscriber? Not seen your uh, name in the comments before. It's, not, it's always nice to have new people. Talking of new people, we're up to, on the subscriber count. Yeah, well, welcome to the channel, Logan. It's nice to have new people, like I was saying. Um, so, an update on the subscriber count is that we're up to 4,500, 4,752. And what you all know the goal is... 5,000 set by my daughter. So we're getting there. Nice and steady. But to all them new subscribers, including Logan, um, welcome to the channel. So how's my day going? My day's going all right. It's, um, I've had the day off. I'm working all weekend, so I've had the day off. I'm actually teaching a dry stone walling session to 250 people on Sunday. So I've tried to enjoy my day off today. Took my daughter to college, done some shopping, done some jobs around the house. All the normal things you do with a day off. I was tempted to come down and do a little bit of stone carving earlier, but I resisted. Wait. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Hello. How much is a letter? Let me have a look on the other screen so I can see that. So I know everyone charges differently, but in general, how much should a letter carve? Letter is charged. So lettering. So. Um, like you say, everyone's different. So I would charge for this size, six pound, for this size, four pound, four pound. This was really difficult because actually it takes a little bit longer. So then I'd probably keep this, I'd, I'd try and work out a time for this here. Um, and then bigger sizes, I'd do eight pounds. And if you do, and then if you do it in relief, 
I charged differently for that. And then painting was always difficult because people didn't want to pay a lot for painting. So I charge anything from 50p a letter to a pound a letter. And if you've watched any of my videos, you'll realise that it can sometimes take longer and it's more difficult to paint the letters well than um, carve them. Carving you can seem to do just without really thinking about it. Painting, you really have to concentrate. Hopefully that answers the question. But if you want to know any, any, any more detail than that, um, send me an email. There should be an email address in the description. You'll find it on the channel um, and I can send you more detail. I still have my old pricing list from the shop, so I can always send that over to you. Or some examples of jobs I've done, we've worked out the prices on there. An 80s murder mystery that took place in. Wow, my wife, my wife loves murder mystery stuff. Loves it. She really likes watching the interviews of people. Once they get caught, and I will try and worm their way out of it. I was trying to work out earlier, have I ever done stone carving live on a Friday night before? I don't think I have. We've done Saturdays, we've done Sundays, daytimes and mornings, and Wednesdays definitely, and Thursdays. Duty's not so much because I play football. Might be our first ever Friday night. What a way to spend your Friday night. Should get a little disco ball going. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button, that thumbs up button. And don't forget to say hello in the comments. It's always nice to know who's on. If you're regulars or new, got any questions, or if you've been watching any murder mysteries, let me know. Just as I came out, my son was watching a western. I think it had just finished actually. So yeah, like I say, on um, Sunday for work, I got to try and teach 250 people, not all at once, how to drive stone wall. I'm doing do it in blocks of uh, 25, not well up to 250 people not everybody's going to want to to have a go i'm going to do it blocks of 25 so i've made a, a mini dry stone wall with help from my father he's been uh, rumbling the stone for me down in the in the yard so what we've been doing is putting all the waste stone from the carvings all different sizes through the um, through a cement mixer just to take the edge off them so it gives it that more rustic feel and it's worked well actually i put a picture of it on the community tab for you to all see and it's worked really well
anybody been working on any stone projects this week I did do some painting I painted a couple of a couple of uh, pet memorials up nice to get them done need to contact the uh, New owner with them. Let them know they're done. I did try and make a short. Didn't work. Oh, one thing that did happen, which was quite exciting. Henderson's Relish reached out to me and said they saw the video and they really liked it um, and said they were going to post it on their social media, which was nice. That was quite exciting, I forgot about that. So I look forward to seeing that. Should have waited till later on on a Friday night before I went live. Wait till I wanted a little drink. They might have been more uh, more inclined to hit that thumbs up button or become members of the channel. You can become a member of the Stone Ranger Guild for 99p. All the 99p's are going in a pot so we can try and buy a better camera. At last count, we were in double figures of members, which is exciting. So all them people spending their 99p's. Thank you very much. And if you do, and you put a comment in, your name's in green and you get a little Stone Ranger logo next to it. And I'm working on trying to get us some more discount codes. And you get early access to the discount codes. Before people sell out. I'm working on that at the minute actually. But if you haven't used a discount code we've already got going. There's a video on the channel get inspired that you want to do some stone carving like many of you do and send me some lovely messages get on there southern stone limited watch the video get the code get on their um, website decide what you're going to buy whether that's hammers chisels stone polishing blocks all different accessories for stone carving, could be some health and safety bits and bobs. We get a discount on there. Drop the discount code in at the end just before you check out and save yourself some money. Strong and Northern applies to uh, to Brian. Well, Brian's a member. Look, he's got his Stone Ranger Guild crest next to his name. There, his name's in green, and each month it changes. So he started off. With a darker crest now he's got the the lighter crest it's um it changes every month and he's strong and northern Brian said last week that he used to drop a bit of Henderson's relish in his crisp packet spice it up a bit. And now you can buy Henderson's Relish flavour Chris, I saw them today in the supermarket. I was tempted to be eating a bag as I went live on the video.
sharpen this chisel before we start it. It's like a razor. Really nice to use. We've not had many people send pictures in of the projects they're working on recently. So that's a little nudge. Anyone who's not been um, anyone who's not been on for a, anyone who's not sent a picture in for a while. Sorry, I was reading a comment at the same time. Then. Anyone who's not sent a picture in of anything they've been working on, don't forget to send it into it. We can share it with everyone else. Or if you're new to the channel. On a Wednesday, if people have been working on a project, they send it in and then I'll put a little picture up on the community tab so everyone can see the projects you've been working on. I've had some really great stuff sent in. Really nice. Evening Dean. It has been a while. Welcome back. going to be carving a, another football crest soon. My sister's doing the London Marathon so I've said I'll do a, another football crest for charity. So there's tickets on my Facebook page. You can buy tickets on my Facebook page to win a football crest or if you know anyone who might be interested you could share that for me that'd be great. So my sister and my brother-in-law, and I'm not to, in a position to run the London Marathon. I mean, I play football, I do go to the gym a little bit, but I definitely couldn't run a marathon. Jeez. I did run to the air fry the other day, though, because I put it on for too long. Got to be the gooners. It's uh, well, it depends who wins. Whoever wins gets to choose. That's the nice thing about it. So I've done five and six now. So I've put three or four pictures on the ones I've done: the Chesterfield, Sheffield United, Manchester United. So whoever wins it on the raffle, they get to pick. And it doesn't have to be football. It can be ice hockey. It could be cricket. It could be rugby. It could be any. might um, put a little bit of information on the community tab tonight so if anyone wants to share it for me that'd be much appreciated well how do you know I was actually that there by Dean I was expecting Brian to say that um, as it did Brian to say he couldn't get a full marathon I was waiting yeah, I like that. Anybody got any plans this weekend? It's starting to feel like you can just getting close to going uh, going in the garden doing the little bits. I was filling the bird feeders up today and that little bit of sun, there was some warmth in it and I was raking the grass, getting it ready for drying out and then it rains again. It's doing little bits here and there. It's getting close. My next door neighbour's got 
the dry stone wall over. Their shed blew away in a storm this year and knocked their wall over. Fairly short, it's two foot high, if that. So I'm going to, uh, when we've got a little bit of sun on one of the days off, I'm going to do a random act of kindness and go around and mend it for them. But I like it when just starting to come to spring and you can feel it. And I'm not the only one thinking it because there's adverts everywhere for spring. I went in the shop today and there were shorts on sale, not coats. Is it the best this time of year because it's starting to come to life and you've got the whole year ahead of you? Is that what you find the best? So I do love this time of year, but I just I think I'm another another month or so. I like sitting on the garden furniture when you get home from work and having a coffee or Getting home and it's still light and I can do a little bit. Oh year ahead. Anything is possible. Whereabouts do you live, Dean, if you're sat outside early? It's done nothing but rain here this evening. No sitting outside for me this evening. Warm earlier, and I'm hoping it's going to be okay tomorrow because I'm um, chopping back rhododendron. And it's warm work anyway. Oh well, I don't know what the weather was like there. It's um, chopping back rhododendron in the Goit Valley for me tomorrow. And we've got to burn it. It's um, problem is if you leave it chopped and there's so much of it, it's basically a woodland of rhododendron. It was bought in by a Victorian family and planted ornamental. It's gone wild. And it's um, if you leave it just stacked on the ground, it roots again. You've got to burn it. Take some getting going in the fire where it's damp, but once you're doing it, it's okay. But we're on a slope. So you're dragging it around. Soon gets warmed up. There'll be about 10 of us, so I'm hoping we'll shift some material. Or some rolling. do a lot of uh, invasive species control piri piri ragwort Himalayan balsam and rody
What's the angle on the camera like? Do I need to change it? Are we okay? Should I get it a bit more sideways on so you can see better? Let's have a... We'll try that. Let's hope she doesn't see that. Oh, unless she's got a really good sense of humour. She's in the kitchen. Is she prepping dinner? Washing up? She's already done dinner and now she's washing up. Wow. And if she did prep dinner, what did she what did you get? Did you get one, two or three courses? Only the one course. You've done something wrong. Pork chops, nice. No, no kissing tonight, not after all that garlic. I keep meaning to dip, roast some garlic in some olive oil and make a, a paste, tell them some toast. Do love garlic. Well, because I was carving and I didn't have loads of time, I quickly had a pizza. Nice pizza. It was, uh, I do love a pizza. A nice salad, made a nice dressing to go with it. Might just move this slightly for you. Got some special sauce from Trinidad. I've got a friend from uh, Senegal whose mum makes a chili sauce. It's lovely. Wow, it's hot. You don't want a lot of it. But it's that nice heat. Do you know, I'm not a massive fan of artificial heat. I like good quality chilli. I don't like um, artificial heat. 
official chili. I like the good stuff. Well, this stuff is mum, mate. Wow, it's lovely. Really lovely. Actually, we, we had some with some chicken once in one of the workshops. And a friend of mine who we call um, Bobby Pants down, he came in saying, oh, I like all the food, I'll have some of that. So we actually gave him some. His brother sometimes watches this channel, seeing that he's called Brown Dave. Um, so I gave him some of this chilli sauce because he was giving it the, the big and about how much he likes hot food. I possibly put too much on of it and just watching his face turn bright red was, oh, it was a pity. <laughs> It was it's so hot, but he was really going for it, saying how much he loves hot food, and he wanted some of this chicken. I felt a bit bad afterwards. You know, fresh chilli is nice. I like a good chilli oil. I grow a lot of chillies. But I didn't take them inside last year and I got caught out by a frost and they died. So we're starting a new one this year. Starting fresh. Evening Graham, another man in green with his logo next to the name. Hope all is well. Have you and uh, still classed as new wife? Been a, what's that been that, six, eight weeks now? We're just talking about chilli sauce. Or oh, we talked about pork chops, Henderson relish, chilli sauce. Luckily avoided the conversation about Arsenal. So what I tend to do with these, well you'll all know if you watch the channel, but I try and make little shorts out of the videos. So I download the live onto my phone, clip it up and try and make a few little shorts here and there. Just to send round for people and that's one of the ones what Henderson Relish have seen and really liked it. So I'm hoping if I make a couple more little shorts, they'll like them as well. Sent me a lovely message. And each time I make a show of the Henderson's Relish, I put a Sheffield based artist in the music in the background. So last week I put um, Arctic Monkeys. I'm just trying to think of some other ones, so I've got Self Esteem, she's a Sheffield based artist which is actually, I was listening to on Radio 6 the other night, I went to see her in Sheffield, she's actually the um, Liam who watches this channel, it's actually his cousin, so we got some free tickets which were nice, and then I was trying to think who else is Sheffield based, Joe Cocker,
jar this cocker. If you can think about it, let me know. There's loads, I just uh, can't think of them just at the minute. I'm gonna drink our tea. Oh, Def Leopard, one arm Def Leopard. He did a runner. I um, built a wall for his next door neighbour and uh, he did a midnight flip to Ireland. And then it didn't work out in Ireland, so came back. He was, uh, he had some trees in his house, in his garden, not in his house, but they were growing under the roots of the next door neighbours because they didn't want to pay for it. So he sold up. Um, kind of just did a did a flit and sold up and left the problem to somebody else. I don't know if he ever sorted the problem out actually. Who else is Sheffield? How's the wall going, Graham? You were building a wall last week. How's that going? Human League. That's a good one. That is a good one. Graham was building the wall last week at Luke's Granite. I mean, there's a mix of two. Was it sandstone and granite? Might get that um, half ball that was out here. I'm looking forward to seeing some pictures of that. I was just saying earlier that not had any pictures for of projects people have been working on recently. Where's that half ball nose? Du -du -du -du. There we go. This half ball nose here is really good for that amber sands just getting around that corner. Just run it round there is great. Not seen young Tom Robinson in the chat recently. He um, last time he came on, he was saying that he'd been inspired to do his first carving from watching this channel. He started following me on social media. Put some pictures of a house sign he'd done for himself on, and he'd, he'd watched all the videos, bought the chisels with the discount code, watched the videos, learned how to carve from the videos, and then. All of his neighbours asked him for new house signs. So imagine he's nice and busy doing that. I like stories like that where people have been watching the channel and decided to give it a go.
my son returned home from uh, he's in the Remy Corps in uh, Lynham he's moving soon actually but he um, returned home with some Hawkstone Lager the Jeremy Clarkson Lager I tried some of that, it's really nice I'm not a massive lager fan I used to be when I was younger I used to like lager but I like an IPA or a bitter, don't mind Guinness some local stuff called Farmer's Blonde Belgian Blue Chats with Gold some of the Thornbridge stuff but yeah, he bought home this um, Jeremy Clarkson Lager Hawkstone, really nice, enjoyed it Stella Artores I used to like Stella when I was younger So my local pub, it started off I used to work there um, It started off where you'd start with harp I wanted to drink harp, that's what they had on, uh, on tap there Which I didn't mind, it was alright And then um, you had a stage of having Carling, so we used to drink a bit of Carling while we were playing some games of pool. And then he uh, got rid of Carling and Harp, and it was Foster's, and it was one of them taps, what were like had ice on there. Um, so it looked really cold and refreshing. That was quite, and that bottom would give it the head on top. And then um, I worked behind the bar a little bit then for events. And then they moved on from that and then had Stella. Stella was bought in. And then I stopped drinking lager then. And then I think now they had some uh, they had some Budweiser on tap at one point. I quite like some of the brew dog bits. They do one called Hazy Jane, that's really nice. This is the one we make locally to me in Bakewell called Green Mountain. I quite like that. No, I'm not a massive fan of Budweiser. Stella do what well, actually in the summer which I don't mind Stella do one called unfiltered that's quite nice I've got a friend at work who's um, Giving up, giving up drinking. But he loved Guinness. I still does love Guinness, but he had zero Guinness. And he had one with his breakfast. He came downstairs, his wife came downstairs and he's having a Guinness at breakfast time. And his wife hit the roof. He said, Well, no, I'm calling it. I can drink it whenever I want now. So he's, now he's got his problem just drinking Guinness at any time of day. She said he's got to stick to a, a certain time before he's allowed to drink it. He's not allowed to have it with his cornflakes. Could just have it on his cornflakes. Yeah, it definitely does add a bit of something there with a full English. There's some really great micro breweries in Sheffield. There's, there's one called Aberdale Brewery, and they do a drink called Moonshine, and that's really nice. 
but it's going to be fresh. It's got to be fresh. Um, if it's not run through the lines properly, or if, it's, if they don't sell enough, it, it can turn bad really quick. But majority of the time, it's enough sold that it's really, really nice. The chats with gold. I really like that. Bought some mini kegs at Christmas with um, of a couple of local stuff. There's a brewery I built a lot of the dry stone walls around the brewery. I can't even guess what year it was. A good few years ago. And it's um bought them mini cakes where you just get like nine pints in there. It's better than the bottles, it's not the same as having it on draft, but it's um, still really nice. It was good at Christmas, enjoyed them. They made all the money. They just set up this brewery and then the Tour de France went through Yorkshire and they made loads of money. Really nice guys as well. Well, the whole family's really nice who run it. They told me a story when I was working there. He said before the brewery and before the... Um, Tour de France went through, they didn't have enough money to put any of the walls up on the farm really, or bits at a time, dairy farmers, and then they did the brewery, the Tour de France come through, and now they're all driving uh, around the farm on segways. Flying through it a bit. Happy with that. Belgian blonde beer is lovely, really lovely. I've never been to Belgium and had it, but I had quite a bit of it while I was in Paris. I like trying new drinks in different countries. You get them in a different shaped glass. All oh, adds to it. Or oh, you sat there in Paris with this pint of blonde, some olives. It's really nice. Never the same when you get home. Back to Derbyshire, you buy a bottle of the same stuff, thinking, "Oh, this will be lovely." And you, Sat, re sat there ready to drink it. It's not the same when you sat there with your pork scratchings compared to your olives. I must admit that Derbyshire smells better than Paris. Paris stinks. I reckon they've cleaned it up a lot ready for the Olympics this year. I was there last, well, I was there for Bastille Day, which was July. I hope they've got good cleaners, because you're going to need it. Lovely, but stinks. Some great food.
we're going back to the spring we we're talking about spring earlier it's um you can tell it's coming around because my videos on dry stone walling have started to get a bit more traction when it's spring and summer and into autumn they get a decent amount of traction on them where people want to have a go in the garden and i can just see them start to pick up nicely which is really nice making videos is a weird thing really weird thing so you can put so much effort into one little video of a couple of minutes long and you think wow i've got this one I'm happy with this or it can be 40 seconds long or it can be 22 minutes long and you think i've really got this sorted this video I'm really happy it's going to get a decent amount of traction a decent amount of people are going to like it and it will it'll it'll do all right and then you can do another video which is really quick and you, you don't put anywhere near as much effort in it. it's like 180,000 views it's um I don't think I'll ever understand YouTube. But I do like, we have a lovely little community of people all different nights of the week. If I come on now, so this is Friday, normally Wednesday, all different people tune in, they have different days different times so if i go live in the morning santa will be on from new york and we've got some people in australia who follow us all drop in and say hello graham's a regular bry we've got paul we have dave well, there's loads of people young tom so i've not seen him for a little bit actually we've got kev who's been working in the woodlands So yeah, we've got a lovely little community of people now, really, and it grows every day. There's not a day goes by where we don't get a new subscriber on the channel. We don't get many members, they are few and far between, but we get new subscribers. And we've had a few super thanks. Just hit the camera I'm moving further along so I'm getting closer to the camera so I might just have to move it in a minute yeah I've had a couple of super thanks which is nice I said people appreciate the time you put into making the videos I'm looking forward to making a couple of videos so I've done a lot of since new year I've done a lot of lives which is something I wanted to get better at and do, which I'm going to carry on doing. I really enjoy the lives on a Wednesday night, or if I'm busy, just finding a new night. But if I do something for charity, I'll try and do that on a Saturday or Sunday, so they can watch. But I like uh, the weather gets better. Looking forward to making a few videos. Got a walling video coming up, like I said earlier. My neighbour's walls down. And I want to do right from the beginning learn to stone carve from going to the garden center to buy a lump of stone or a quarry right, I'm going to have to just move the camera slightly thanks Graham thanks for saying hello really appreciate that enjoy your visitors it's nice to get visitors Right, just move that camera. Say hello to um, the wife, Mrs. Graham. Right, I've just moved that camera slightly just so I can get a better angle so I'm not tapping into it all the time. I was looking for the chisel and I put it in my pocket. So I'm hoping I'll not bump into that. not really the camera I bump into, it's the arm of the camera.
going back to understanding YouTube. It's a really, really difficult thing to understand. So there's four people watching at the moment. Well, if you rewind three weeks ago, where's 400 people? So just getting that algorithm right is so difficult. But it's about the quality, not the quantity. We might have the best four. Well, it's not going to be long until we're in these little letters. Take a deep breath. Probably not have a strong coffee before I start then. My daughter's putting me a list of uncopyrighted music together. So I can have it playing in the background. Which is nice. I'm still a bit gutted when I drop my coffee. It's been been a week and a half. I'm still every time I'm down there, still thinking about that coffee. in a way.
how would you go about doing the bottle? Any advice on how we're going to carve this bottle, all these really small letters? Can be helpful. We nice to see some pictures of Graham's wall he's been building. It's always nice to see pictures of the projects people are working on. But it's hard to dress and shape the stone when you're building a wall out of granite like the Graham's building. Don't forget if you're um, just tuning in, hit that like button. It massively helps. It makes YouTube think I'm doing a good job. So yeah, it um, makes them think I'm doing a good job, which means they'll put to uh, help me out by letting other people see my channel. So yeah, if you're feeling generous, stick a thumbs up on there. feeling super generous hit the subscribe button have a look at the channel there's loads of videos on there 180 odd videos some of me carving projects live lots of videos about how to dry stone wall stone carving right from the basics right from the beginning through to do some really detailed stuff what chisels you'll need what hammers you'll need there's discount codes if you want to go and buy some chisels if you've been inspired to go and do something or you're already carving you're just looking for something new you want to save some money get on there and buy some oh, I didn't see that so Graham said he's got a full time job that's the, the difficulty between of trying to carve and read the comments. Well, that's nice. He's got a full-time job doing it. Is that what you were saying about the commute? That he had to commute there each day on the train, on the, uh, on the bus. I was just looking back through the comments there. Well, that's really exciting. We might get to see um, might get to see loads of pictures of what Graham's been building then. Yeah, so it was on the bus where I said.
keep bumping into that camera now. It's It's going to get worse, closer I get. I mean, that'll be difficult there, won't it, without bumping into that. Not sure how it's coming across on the camera, but for me here, it's starting to look, starting to look okay. I can move that light around and it makes it pop out a little bit, the, the lettering. But no, it's starting to look good from, from here. Obviously, I've got a different angle to you. I saw a lovely picture of a tree of life earlier, which I, I would very much like to carve. I find myself over the years looking at fonts. I drive around and look at different logos and different patterns and stuff. Oh, I'd like to carve that, oh, I'd like to carve that. make a wish list of all the different shapes and patterns I'd like to carve. I seem to think now, looking at the the audience, the, well, the amount of people are dropping in and out on different nights of the week. I think Wednesday might be a nice night to do the carving. We seem to get a, a nice steady flow of people watching on a Wednesday night. People are obviously busy on a on a Friday, which is understandable. I mean, who'd want to watch? me carve a lump of stone on a Friday night when they can go to the pub I mean if I weren't doing this I could uh, I've got a can of gloss I could watch that dry that'd be about as much fun no but all joking aside I think it's uh, Wednesday night seems to be nice we get people know we go live on a Wednesday we get decent um, decent amount of views people participating in the chat well so I think we've picked a good night Wednesday night is a good night it's um it was a shame I missed this Wednesday but went to the ice hockey really enjoyed the ice hockey it was a great atmosphere it was sold out they won they won free one. Um, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. See, the first time they've won the trophy. Got to see them lift the trophy. And they're also top of the league, so they still can win the league. So it's a great year for the Sheffield Steelers. Never really watched or followed ice hockey, but my daughter has got into ice hockey. I don't know where it came from. I think she just stumbled across it. Seems to like it, so I take her to watch a few games. She would really like to go to Boston to watch the Boston Bruins. She's asked me if I'll carve their logo, actually. Which 
I'm sure we can do. Might appeal to our American audience. Stretching a little bit and concentrating on that, not to hit that camera. I'm going to have to move it, I'm afraid, again. I'm just going to have to stretch around slightly. It's that bar there, that's what I need to move there. Just don't want to bump into it. There we go, let's try that. Give me a bit of space. Glad I'm not working on bigger letters because I've misplaced my safety specs and I've not been able to find them tonight. I keep looking around for them, but luckily I'm not moving big enough pieces of material or I've not ended up with a piece in my eyes yet this evening. I'm just about getting away with it. Sheffield United football press coming up. Another one, that'll be third one of them. I've had to call. I quite like doing the, the sports crest, they're quite nice uh, and I also like, um, I've got a family crest coming up to do and I quite, that type of thing I really like, working on logos and crests is, um, yeah I can see this, I can see I'm going to do a lot over the years, even if they're just for myself something very appealing about doing something like this or uh, you 
this is a local brand to me, so I really like it. It's something I've grown up with. But some of the bigger stuff as well. People put a lot of design into these logos and they're very appealing. And I like the idea of carving them. I like the idea of having a, a workshop or even a cellar one day, which is a bit of a man cave, a bit telly on there when you watch a bit of sport in there, some boxing and stuff. I love the idea of having stuff like this hanging on the wall, what you've done yourself. Every man's tree, what's that's to have a, a man cave. I just imagine it's got like a really old brown leather couch in there. It's a dartboard on the wall. And instead of having a like sport on boxing. Instead of having like posters, I like the idea of having stuff like this carved on the wall. I think it'd look great. I've always liked, I've never, I've never had a cellar. I've always liked the idea of having a cellar. Cellar to me means I only mean, really think of a cellar with a townhouse. Never lived in a house with a cellar. I don't mind the idea of a townhouse. I quite like the idea of a townhouse, actually. A stone bottle top. Yeah, I could do that. That's a good idea. From the chat earlier, I don't think we'll put uh, Budweiser on it. That's a really good idea, actually. The more I think about it, that's a really cool idea. We'll when I do that, I'll credit Dean for that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So what bottle top are we going for? There's a lot of cool bottle tops out there. Which one are we going on? Yeah, the more I think about that, the more I like that. choice trying to think so classic Pepsi would be cool
That'd be a really cool classy Pepsi. That'd be... Maybe I'll stick it out there, that little community space here. Dean's come up with a great idea. We're going to carve a bottle top. Which one should we go for? Any suggestions? And then we'll um, see what people come up with. I used to collect bottle tops when I was really younger. Not for long, only because my mum and dad, well, my mum worked in the pub, my dad didn't. He did, but not at that moment in time. Nearly there. Well, nearly there on Northern and Strong, anyway. Which is a good job because I'm busting for pee. Now, it's not even a big chisel, so this is six mil. But when you've been using that little three and four mil chisel, and then you move on to that six mil, it feels massive. It's, it's a bit like pulling off the motor away where you've been doing 70, and dropping down to 40 and 30, it feels very slow. And that's how it feels using that chisel, it feels massive. Back to our normal slot next week, back to Wednesday night. How about a local microbrewery one? <coughs> yeah, that'd be good. That would be good. I'm going to stick it out there, I'm going to let the 4,752 subscribers to the Stone Ranger pick. See if we can get some people engaged on picking a bottle top to car.
just going to move that one more time, actually, because I've just looked down at the camera and all you can see is uh, my head, shiny head at that. So hopefully that'll take away a bit of that. <laughs> well you should have said I would have moved it earlier Dean it's uh, it can fair catch the sun the light sorry I was out in the garden earlier, I put a hat on, um, my work hat, and the smell of fire from that rhododendron over there, I've had to wash it. It's a weird smell when you're burning rhododendron, it's, it's not like a normal fire, I don't mind the smell of a normal fire, but it's, um, it's a different smell. Concentrating. I know we're not at the end of the project, but you know when you're at the end of the line and you can just, you know, you've got to concentrate a little.
I'm also concentrating because like I said a minute ago, I am busting for a pay. So I bring myself a big drink of coffee or tea down with me. So I'm obviously down here for a couple of hours. But then that also means you need a pay. I'm nearly there. And that'll be me done for the night. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'll go back over that, neaten all that lettering up. Well, I'm going to go over the whole project at the end of meeting it all up. But no, happy with that so far. I think we've made good progress there. Nice to get the northern and strong done. It's um, one last chance to hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button before I go. But thanks for all for watching. Dean, thank you for putting so many comments on. Massive help. Thanks for Bry and Graham and uh, the few people right at the beginning who were new to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all on Wednesday. Uh, at 7 o'clock, back to the normal time. 7 till 9. Uh, yep, yeah, see you then. Thanks for watching. See you soon.